Hi everybody, just a quick video today to look at a strategy to help deal with working with large surfaces. So for example, I've got a drawing up on the screen now in Civil 3D that has a, a large surface in it. Have you ever been in a situation where you wanted someone to work in one particular area and also have the flexibility that someone could work in a different area, but didn't want them to have to necessarily carry around the extents of the entire surface? You know, it wouldn't be great if we could break that surface up into pieces. And the short answer to that is yes, it, it would be great, and we can do that today through a concept of what's called uh, creating a cropped surface. So let me explain. I'll begin in a drawing that currently is my existing ground and what I'd like to do is set up a couple of cropped areas that other people can work with. We'll begin by maybe looking at this this hill area as one of them. I'll start by selecting my surface and we will extract from that surface and create a crop surface. So it's going to tell us that we need to save first because as we all know if we don't save it uh, it didn't actually commit any changes so it's not really there so we've saved we will create a crop surface we will give it uh, the area to be cropped in this case we'll just make a quick polygon around the the hill and then we'll go through we've got the option that we can place this information in a new drawing we also can put it in an existing drawing uh, or select a drawing that's currently open. In our case we'll set up a new drawing for these folks to work with. When we build a new drawing we can select a template. I'll just select the default Civil 3D Imperial template at this point. Uh, the drawing has been created. We'll give the surface a name. I'm gonna call this North for now just for lack of a better term and I'll assign it a style. Let's do something a little bit different from what we're currently working with the existing and I'll put in a layer and we do have the ability that we can uh, just type that in at the uh, within the dialog. So we'll click OK. Uh, that is created. Let's go ahead and do one more. We'll come down and look at uh, perhaps this area here at the south. We'll do something similar. Create a crop surface once again. Always important to save. Select this. Create a crop surface my selection method once again. I'm going to use a polygon. If I had a polyline or something within the drawing I could use that as my boundary. We'll just create something quick here to show the concept. Uh, we will create a new drawing with this one as well. Same template. And we'll go ahead and set the surface name in this case to south. The style will set to 1 and 5 design and we'll set the layer to topo once again. All right, with those created, if we look up in the top here in our dialogs, we can see the uh, new drawings that have been created. I'll grab drawing two, and we'll look, we'll see surfaces, we see north, I'm gonna go ahead and say zoom two to display that on the screen, and just to make it a little bit easier what we're working with so we know which one is which, we'll call this drawing north. We'll save that and then we'll go ahead and go to drawing number three. That is our surface south. We will zoom to that so we can see it and then we will assign that a name as well by saving it. So we'll call this south. All right, now what we'll do just so we can see these on the screen as I make adjustments. We'll separate our screen vertically. I don't need to see the start area, but I would like to see north and south, so let's just organize the, these on the screen so they can be seen a little easier. We'll set for uh, north above south, and we'll update our display for the existing ground surface. All right, so we've created separate files where we've cropped those areas, but the great thing is it automatically maintains a connection back to the main file uh, through the concept of what's called a snapshot. So we'll, we'll take a quick look at this. I'm going to back up. Let's say that I'm working in the main file and that area that is our north hill, 
that we've uh, cropped to have other people work with. I'm going to make a quick adjustment to the surface. When this surface was built, it was constructed using points. Uh, those points were put in a point group, and then the surface was built from the group itself. So I can edit the surface very quickly. We'll just erase some of these points so that the surface will update. We'll come over to the side here in our prospector window. We look at the point groups. We see now that those points have been erased. We'll update the group. We'll come down and look at surfaces. We see that existing ground is now out of date. I'm going to set that to rebuild automatic. So that's been uh, rebuilt and I've created a hole in my surface. Uh, for right now that, uh, that won't cause a, a problem. The uh, hole was created as a result of some of the parameters that I had set. Let's go ahead and maybe adjust these. I had set a maximum distance of 150 feet for my triangle length. Let's set that to uh, uh, let's set that to just uh, 400 for right now so we don't generate a hole. We'll rebuild our surface. My hole is closed up and I'm, uh, I'm good with that. So now that I've made my changes, let's come over to uh, my north file. Let's first save this, because once again, it doesn't actually exist unless it's been saved. We'll come back to the north file and if I look at my surface and expand, we see that the snapshot that was created is now out of date. So what we're going to do is this. I'm going to set my surface so that it is uh, rebuild automatic. And by simply saying rebuild the snap snapshot from our master file, when it's rebuilt, we see that our cropped area automatically updates. Let's do the same thing with the south side. We'll come down and look at that area. We'll do something similar here. I'll just erase some, some points and uh, in my existing ground here we'll come up to the top we will update my point groups which in effect update my surface because we set it to automatic we will save that we'll come down to south and if somebody was working in the cropped area uh, or was referencing that uh, that area via snapshot we'll come down in the south drawing and we will see the impact of those changes as well so we'll go to south we will set it to rebuild automatic just so that it updates immediately. We'll rebuild the snapshot and we see it's updated on the screen. Alright, so creating a surface um, crop surface area, we are effectively able to work with a large surface by being able to break it down into smaller components and still maintain the connection back to the master so that changes could be made in the master surface and those changes still be reflected in the drawings where that surface has been cropped. Hope the information helps. Thank you for your time and attention and we'll see you again soon.